Well, here we have 1978 uh, Tektronix 464 storage oscilloscope. Uh, twin channel, uh, analog storage oscilloscope. Uh, has three modes. One operating like a conventional oscilloscope like it is at the moment, which if we take ourselves a, a repeating waveform, touch to there, good at displaying something like that. That's the uh, the timing crystal on my Arduino. So that's pulling up there. Good for something like that. Um, unfortunately, if we're looking at uh, repeating data, on the other hand, which is not uniform and does not continue to oscillate, then uh, we'll end up with a quite different story if I can get the clip on here. So we can get that to trigger. Where's it gone? Oh, that's a little large. There we go. Uh, we get a pair of lines which from ground potential is a 15 volt peak to peak. If I turn the intensity up a little bit, you can just about see in between the lines, especially if I stretch it out. So you can just about see the data going up and down, but you cannot catch anything in between. So uh, what we can do with this is we can store a single sweep of the trace to the screen and play it back. So what I'm going to do is clear the screen which should trigger a sweep. It's a little bit picky to get working but there we go. Stores some digital data coming out of the serial port of the laptop. Clear it again. Takes a snapshot of the data on this one. We can store that if we turn the brightness down. We can come back to it. Stores it for about 10-15 minutes. Really very clever. The other thing that we can do on this one is turn the auto refresh back on. Variable persistence. Which allows us to see the artifacts between each wave position and stretch that out a little. So you can see it there looking like a ladder catching each. So if I go ahead and move the position up and down you can see how much persistence it has on the screen. Very useful in this instance for just clear that. Showing something that would otherwise be very difficult to watch. So, there's several modes of uh, storage oscilloscope.